Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ayya la habita fillah qala rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala Allah azza wa jal ya ibadi innakum tukhti'un bi layli wa nahar wa ana aghfil dhunub jami'an فَاسْتَغْفِرُونِي فَأَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ رُوَاهُ مُسْلِمْ In this hadith of Qudsi that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam related on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah azza wa jal says يَا عِبَادِي O my slave Verily, or O oh my slaves, verily, you make sins during the evening and during the day. And I forgive all sins. So seek forgiveness from me, and I will forgive you. Ru'ahu Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet wasallam, there are immense fawa'id and benefits. And from some of those benefits, a habitifillah, is the necessity for repentance and tawbah to Allah Azza wa Jal. And that we as believers and we as frail human beings, all of us, make sins and mistakes. All of us are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of us, yusibu yukhti, make mistakes and sometimes we're correct. And we're all in desperate need of our Lord in turning to Him. Another benefit of this hadith, Habitifillah, is it shows us that we should never give up on our Lord, nor give up on ourselves. Be positive. Be positive about the forgiveness, the power of forgiveness, that your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. Don't give up. Don't despair. You drink wine. Don't give up on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You commit zina. Don't give up on Allah azza wa jal. You... Uh, smoke weed, don't give up on Allah. You go to the club from time to time, don't give up on Allah Seek forgiveness from Him and leave those sins. That doesn't mean we stay in sin and we say, verily Allah is the all-forgiving, most merciful. La. We also know He is Shadid al-Iqab, that Allah is severe in His punishment. So we should fear Him and we should strive our utmost to return to Allah and seek forgiveness from Him. And a last point I want to make, Habitifillah, is also realizing, yes, we all make sins and mistakes, but that is not an excuse for people to make bid'ah. That even some people who are, their usul, their foundation in the religion is on bid'ah, that doesn't make excuse excuses for them. And that doesn't, nor does that equate Ahl bid'ah with Ahl sunnah. So if someone, their usul in their understanding of the religion, for example, they worship graves, they have many mukhalifat and tawheed, they have many differences with ahl sunnati wal jama'ah in their methodology of how they practice and preach and understanding Islam, then that doesn't equate their sins and their mistakes with the sins of someone who's on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but makes mistakes from time to time. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and give us all forgiveness. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.